Well, if you love him, would you lift your hands and express your love to him right now? There is none like him. Thank you for who you are. We worship you simply because you're God. God bless you. You may be seated in his wonderful presence. But you're just lifting up your hands again and to worship. Where the presence of the Lord is cultivating here, that I am thine, O Lord. I have heard thy voice and did told thy love to me, and I long to rise. In the arms of faith and be close, sir, drawn to thee. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross where thou hast died. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to thy precious. We've lost the hymns in the church. Draw me nearer, nearer, to the cross. Where thou hast died, draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to thy precious bleeding side. This is my verse. Consecrate me now. To thy service, Lord, by the power of grace divine. Let my soul look up with a steadfast hope, and my will be lost in thine. Draw me near. To the cross where thou hast draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to thy precious bleed. I wonder if someone means this verse. I am thine, O Lord. I have heard thy voice and did told thy love to me. And I long to rise in the arms of faith and be closer drawn to thee. Make it your prayer right now. Draw me nearer, nearer to the Somebody sing it from your heart. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to thy precious Bleeding side. 
thank God for the integrity type songs, black gospels and so forth, but don't forget the hymns. You're raising up a generation that does not even remember the hymns anymore. And these are songs that have taken millions upon millions of our forefathers through. Amen. And carried them over treacherous territories of their lives. And we thank God that he has preserved them till this day. They have survived the test of time, which these other songs have yet to begun to do. And so in that manner, they become like the word of the Lord in that they have stood the test of time. Open your Bibles to the Song of Solomon, chapter 8. In fact, we will actually start, amen, in chapter 2. Chapter 2 of the Song of Solomon. And in verse 14, Song of Solomon chapter 2 and in verse 14, if you would now stand all over the house in honor to the word of the Lord. We're just going to read this one verse of scripture together. I realize this is a book of the Bible that we don't normally touch. It's kind of taboo. We rather leave it alone. Um, a bit too sensual and sexy you know, for us to even swallow that's in the Bible. And it is absolutely amazing that God would put such a book in the Bible. But there's a mindset that God's trying to get across to us, and that's simply that I want you to draw near. I want you to have a passionate pursuit of my presence. Verse 14, would you read this out loud with me? O oh my dove, that thou art in the clefts of the rock, in the secret places of the stairs, let me see thy countenance, let me hear thy voice, for sweet is thy voice, and thy countenance is... I want to speak to you simply on this subject tonight. Where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? Before you're seated, would you shake hands with a few people, smile at someone, tell them I'm glad you're in the house of the Lord tonight. Come on, you might be the only smile that somebody's had all day long. We're so glad to have to be here for the first time to Pastor and Sister Tamil. And we thank God for meeting you and to Pastor Roger and Sister Rogers in our absence. We love them and count them as dear friends and to be uh, oftentimes been coming for many years to amen the Pentecostals of Wisconsin. And it's good now to meet with other brethren in fellowship. Where do we go from here? God is not always after what we think he is after. As I was listening to pastor talk about illusions, may I tell you another illusion that we have. We have illusion that we are dancing, when, when we are dancing and shouting, that we are in the deep part of God. That's an illusion. Psalm 100 verse 4 shows us why that's an illusion. Psalm 100 verse 4. Enter into his gates with, his courts with. You're only in the outer court when you're shouting and dancing. You are nowhere near the Holy of Holies. And you are nowhere near the depth of God. That's an illusion. For you to enter in, this is the procedure, the praise is not the zenith and the height of the service. It was never intended to be by God. Beautiful place to be, transitional, meant to take you into deeper realms with God. And then the Bible talks about after you've entered into his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise, you'll be thankful unto him. Here comes the 